What's up YouTube, it's Mavic here. Uh, today I'm going to make my second video for customizing your Mac in Snow Leopard. So sorry for my voice, I'm a little sick, but um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to show you how to customize your dock. Basically how to change the skin of your dock and where to get the docks. Which is basically the most important because once you change the skin it's not that hard anymore. So uh, you've got a few tools for this. Uh, the main tool in customization things for Mac, which is really easy, is called Candy Bar, but it is paid, so that's why I also uh, I will also show you. Well, I'll mainly show you uh, their alternatives. So this is Candy Bar. So basically, in Candy Bar, you can change all your icons, all of this, and then arrange your icons here. So I've got like I've got a lot of icons. I got uh, 2,082 icons. And you gotta, you can also change your dock for each individual part. So, for example, here you've got the actual background. Sorry about that. Uh, the bottom edge, so to make it 3D, just at the bottom of your dock there. Uh, the indicator, which is for me the blood because it's Halloween, so I thought I'll do a Halloween dock. Uh, and then here you've got the default uh, settings things. And here you can so. Uh, change every individual thing so that's for candy bar but again it's paid uh, you can go check it on their website it's uh, from a company called panic uh, but then the second application I'm going to show you is a uh, doc library which is actually my favorite uh, one for the docs because I tested a lot before I had doc doctor which was also quite cool but doc library is really simple and really to, uh, easy to use so that's why I really like it um, and I used uh, a lot this application so uh, here you've got uh, some docs though it's a little laggy I don't know why uh, it's probably because I'm using Snow Leopard I'm not sure if you can uh, if you can um, let me just download the update <laughs> So there you go, I just downloaded the update way better, it just took me 30 seconds here and it works great on Snow Leopard now. So uh, Doc Library basically, only thing it does, it shows the docs you're downloaded and it saves them here and you can just select and then activate. Super easy, uh, really simple. So then the second thing you want to know obviously is uh, where to download the docs. So uh, I'm going to show you a few websites on... Um, here on my browser so the first one is leoparddocs.net so basically they have a re really nice and sleek interface here so no uh, it's really easy to get and everything so they got a few docs they do, they do not update uh, them that often but they got a huge amount of pages with a lot of docs so you have a lot of choice and they're also quite cool and uh, good quality so basically I'm gonna show you how to apply this doc so let's say I want this doc wood by Gordon Irving, sorry if I pronounce that wrong. Uh, so this would, so I just click on download doc, super easy. I just uh, save in my downloads folder, and I extract it. So it's probably a zip file most of the time. And then once you have that, I'm just gonna open it in my oh crap, well whatever. Here, so I've got the wood doc. So basically, it's super easy here. Uh, you basically got a folder which is a doc and once you go in doc library you do import and then you actually go to that folder so uh, you go downloads and then wood and then you just take the folder and open it and right away bam there you have it your wood and then only thing you need to do is activate and you got your um, you have to enter in your password and your doc is going to relaunch and it will work so right now I'm not doing it because I don't want to change my doc because uh, I really like this one, but it's just the principle of you knowing how. So then, a few other websites, I'll also put those in the description to the right. Uh, so it's leopardocs.com. So uh, they have a lot of docs. It's not really organized. Uh, you can see, I mean, this is okay. It's uh, pretty nice, but once you're going to browse all docs, there's going to be docs like way bigger than the page and all that stuff so it's not really as sleek design as a uh, leopard doc so for example oh no these are uh, vertical ones but uh, it's not as sleek design as leopard docs.net but they still have a lot of docs then the third one I want to show you is docalicious so I'll put a link uh, to this in the description they got um, a nice 
a design of website and it's easy to follow. So what I recommend in docs, I'll put this link in the description, just browse them by ratings because they have so much docs that uh, I recommend just browsing them by rating to have really the best uh, um, docs so you can just do baddest rating or best rating, I think. Uh, so they, they they have a lot of docs and they do update them uh, quite often. So this one is quite cool. Uh, so you got very numerous docs here. So this is a uh, Wendy with some metal stuff, which just looks quite nice. And uh, here Batman doc um, with the little bats as indicators, uh, which I like as well. So you can just download them from here. It's exactly the same. You just download the folder, extract it, and you open it up with doc library so that's how to do your doc uh, I will do as well one uh, for the icons uh, basically for the icons you will need to use candy bar I'll show you how to do it differently but um, with another app which is free uh, and uh, is free but candy bar remains quite the best in in like a fully customization and really changing everything uh, especially for the icons because it's really good you just download a pack and boom you it's going to change them all automatically for you. So, uh, but that, I'll do that in the next video. So, thanks for watching. This was uh, the doc uh, series. And uh, so, I hope it all helped you. If, if you have any comments, just comment down below. You can also send me a personal message. And be sure to subscribe, rate five stars, uh, more if possible, of course. And yeah, peace.